Hi, it's early in the morning, April 12, 2018. I'm on IntelliCast. I just want to show you the radar in this area here. Okay, so, come on, look at these, this circle here where you can see that, and you can see another one coming in here, you can see that really clearly. Uh, Dutch Sense used to say that if you could see something like that, it meant that there was going to be some kind of heavy duty weather happening in 24 to 48 hours after that. Okay, so you can see that, and here's the timestamp down here. And then I'm um, just going to back up a little bit. Oops. That was backing up too much. Those circles are earthquakes. We'll just take that off for now. I wanted to get up here. See if it's still showing up. See these beams through here, coming out of here. Okay, pass or let's make this go for the last hour. Oh, well maybe it won't show up anything. Sorry about it taking a while to do that. There we go. So you can see your beams coming right up through here, dividing as it gets farther out. So. It, that's coming from down here somewhere going through this radar cloud pattern let's see if I can back it up just a little tiny bit you can see it shooting out through this way too so the center is in here somewhere yeah you can see that coming out through there now this lid Billings, Montana, this is Colorado. Oh, I should have kept flying. And once again, we don't need to back out that far. Oops. <laughs> Wrong direction. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Let's get it back in here. A little bit more. Move up, baby. So here's the circular pattern over here in Wisconsin, Illinois. And there's the dot there. And you can see the beams coming through here also. So there's a lot of intense radar activity going on. And then, um, I'm going to go down here. And I want to show you this area, which you can't see anything on at all here. On telecast. I'm going to stop that and pause it for just a minute. This is the National Weather Service and this is the area in Wisconsin. Gainesville, Rock County. And this is the expected 24 to 48 hours. Tomorrow it's supposed to be, or Friday it's supposed to be high of 56, tomorrow it's 61, and then down and snow expected over the weekend. But if I go on to here where it says home, and then this is the alert map, and the key is below here. But if I go up under radar on here, and I remember we were down in Louisiana and you didn't see anything on the telecast. So look right here. And we're just going to make that larger, put it on loop image. Yeah. 
Look at all these radar stations. All these little green dots. That's not clouds. These are radar stations and putting radar into the atmosphere. This is what we, where we saw the circles on Intellicast right in here. Well, let's go down to, look at this. Look at how wide that array is. There's Louisiana, Texas. So maybe let's take a look at what is going on there. So I just clicked on it. It's Treeport, Louisiana. Radar. That's incredibly big. Let's look at the storm relative loop and just see what they're showing up on that. Look at that. That looks like it's safe to be around, don't you think? This is College of the Page. We'll go on their radar loop because it's pretty cool looking. Now you can see that big array here. But also, you can see how much energy is coming out of all these radar stations to the east. That's an amazing amount of energy being put out into the atmosphere. This one is just incredible here. Um, you can click on next red site, and I can click right there. And then we can see it, but it's so huge on the screen, even though I have a big screen. Why is this showing up? I don't want that. Just a moment. There, there we go. Okay, so I want 48 because it's about what my computer can handle. Your computer might be able to handle more. It's going to take a moment, so I'm just going to... Oh. Look at how far out this goes. That's like incredible burst of energy coming off of this. Look at that. So let's, for a moment, just go... Wait, let me do something else first. Let's put it on. This one, storm relative mean velocity, it kind of gives you a sense of intensity. That, again, shows that purple out outer circle. These different colors, the green and the red with the white in the middle here, is showing uh, direction of wind. And it doesn't look like there is any kind of storm or anything going on. It just happens that there's a lot of radar energy. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so for just a moment, I'm back on a telecast to show you what they're showing for cloud cover here in that area where the radar is out, which looks like there's no reason to have radar at that intensity. What would be the reason for that? You know, there's no, it doesn't look like there's any logical reason to have radar at this intensity. It, it just doesn't make sense to me at all, except for uh, to spy or to do something to temperament of people or as an experiment. The radar is also really intense right here. And actually, if you look at it, all along the coast here, the radar is really intense. Spying, watching, checking, monitoring, and uh, transforming. So I think I just want to go over here and see what's going on, what that looks like. Okay, this is Moody Air Force Base in Georgia.
can see like a little flash over here, but let's look at this and see what that looks like. It's pretty intense. See the circle here? This is 50 miles. This is 100 miles away from the center. And it's going further than 100 miles from the center, which is right here, of the transmission radar transmission base. So just out of curiosity, I'm going to click on a few of these other things. The water vapor loop for the United States. Okay, so... First of all, this flashing looks like signals are being transmitted. There was another one being transmitted to change the weather from some, un I don't know what is causing that. And I'm sure if you look it up, you'll find a lot of information saying it's just a glitch, it's nothing. But right where we saw the radar really intense here around Louisiana, you can see the water vapor moving in and this one behind it moving in. This one, we can't tell hardly anything on this. There's a way to stop it and move it ahead just one loop at a time. There's the one coming down at this time, this GMC time. Okay, so then we'll, now there we can see what's right over here. Right but we can't really see where it's moving to because in the next loop or two, it'll be gone. See? So then I like to look at the hemispheric I R loop. Okay, now that's enough to cause a seizure, practically, with the flashing. <laughs> Excuse me. But, um, once again, we can stop that and move it. So you can see somewhat of the clouds that's over here. This isn't really telling me much, though, just the way it's acting. Okay, so I'm going to go back to where I was looking at the Wisconsin area and just look at this um, radar loop in Illinois for a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I don't see any concentric circles on here, but I can definitely see the radar station. Right in here is the center of each one, and they are extending so far that they're like touching into each other all around. Look at that pattern. What happens with a pattern like that is something is blocking it. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Okay, so let's get in a little closer with zoom. So the radar can't go beyond something here. And what it is, I don't know. It's certainly way too big to be a building. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Intriguing. Look at this line right here that's showing up. <clears throat> Oops. See that line right there? That's weird. Okay, a minute left. Um, weather radar is microwave radiation pulses. Okay. Okay, so PMC, I have the link below. National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health. Recent advances in the effects of microwave radiation on brains. I'm going to go down. However, with its popularization, increased attention has been paid to its influence on humans. Electromagnetic radiation can be absorbed by organisms in which it causes a series of psychological and functional changes. Many intricate electrical activities occur in the central nervous system including learning and memory, which are therefore vulnerable to electromagnetic radiation. Sleep disorders in addition to learning and memory impairment. Here's a little scale. Notice the radar, and I'm grateful for you, and here at your service. Bye.